and welcome back to the third part of this tutorial now let's take care of this other information here so I want to be able to drop this down and select yes or no and this one to give me new numeric data okay let's exit out yeah oh look at that confirm if you want to uh, let's correct that come in here and just double click on exit that should have been confirmed if you want to exit all right taken care of okay then now let's go back to our form create right here underneath from create I am going to enter the following again so the name of this component is DB combo home as uh, the very first one there paste and it's going to be either no or yes no or yes now copy that and change that to yes there that is it taken care of now I'm going to copy both components now and uh, I have about five of those so that will be two three five okay so this is going to be international student and just copy the international paste it to the next for the next one here there and I then have accommodation there and the next one accommodation followed by exchange right and this one is going to be exchange as well the one right underneath and finally I have scholarship scholarship there should be an R there there all right that is fine taken care of okay that's fine so let's save that and run it right so when we click on this now we can get no we can get yes and so on okay that's fine all right so let's exit out we need to take care of this one now what we want is numeric data in there so in the case of that i am going to use a for loop remember the local variable i that i declared earlier i'm going to use that very local variable underneath here now so let's say for i that is going to be column equals um i'm going to make it zero zero two nine there okay so let's get rid of this one zero to nine that is my so now I don't want DB DB combo B A dot items dot add and what am I adding I'm adding I there okay the very first one is taken care of well hold on it's hang on a second we need to convert it though so let's convert um, int to string there and end it with a semicolon here else we will end up with an error right so I'm gonna run that run that should actually give me zero two nine let's see it's coming up there drop it down we now have zero two nine so you have nine years to complete your BSc but the standard year is just three years okay that is good 
Now the order, let me just enter the order. That's uh, B, S, C, whatever. So we'll copy that. I'm going to paste that underneath here. That would be for B, S, C. There. That's taken care of. Run. Okay, B, S, C. Nope. We don't have 10 in here. No, no, we don't want that. Okay. I'm going to cheat. Let's come in here and just copy this, paste it right in there, underneath here. Okay, run. So that should solve that very problem. There might be another way of doing it. So you guys can always figure that out. So I have my loop here, it's working here, and there I only have three more to go. So let's come down here, exit out. Yes, exit. Let's copy and paste. There, and just one more, and I'll take care of all that. There. Now, two is done. We now need to take care of this. This is going to be M A. There, Master of Art. Oh uh, yeah, must you know? I think what I wrote in there is yeah something like that. Yeah, that's much better. And this one is going to be Master of Science. Science, I think. Yeah. Oh no. Yeah, no error. That is fine as well. And the next one here, I think, I, that's for PhD. There. Alright. Like I said, there might be another way to do that. You guys can do that. Okay, run. So, I've just gen finished generating all the numeric data. There we go. Look at that. 0 to 9. And the next one. And the next one. And the next one, so that is fine. So let's align this a little bit properly. Yeah, end that. And go back in here. Just, uh, where is it? That's it right there. Just bring it in. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, now that is done. Then the next thing I want to do now is to add all the necessary subjects in here. So this one is called unit one so for unit one let's grab the name this should be a little bit easy because it's all called unit one two and so on all right so go back into the form load or form create is called come right down here form create so that is going to be that and paste that in there that's uh, unit one and what will be inside unit one I'm going to change that to data data science there that's the first one the second part of unit one is going to be event driven program event driven program there we go that's for unit 1 so let's take care of unit 2 copy that unit 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 there so this is going to be 2 2 3 and 3 no 3 Four, four, five, and five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, and eight. There. So they all have their own different unit now. But uh, we need to just change it around to make it a little bit more different. So this one is going to be objects, object oriented, 
and underneath here let's just say spreadsheet or whatever yeah something like that okay I guess you guys get the whole idea I'm gonna speed that up okay all done guys so let's run it and see how that's gonna look like it's coming up there we go so they all have their own different units now that's fine okay now let's take care of this one so whatever is selected in here I just want it to populate all of these data in here so let's end that go to design view now let's double click on that very combo box there we go that's it right here this one double click on it now the very first thing is let's use an if statement if the combo box that is called calls if dot text whatever text is inside it is uh, let's assume it's a BSC serious game there if you notice when I say equals there's no column in there okay that is how the structure is here so when you want to refer to whatever is in there that's how you you actually structure it so the very first one is going to be oh let's let's just end that yeah I don't want that error okay the very first one here is the very first condition is going to be D B E or D B edit that is called course code dot text that will be equals so this is just the course code so we we'll make that up we just call that B S C G maybe S three five four something like that okay that's taken care of the next one is going to be let me copy this the next one is going to be for copy it all paste that's going to be for faculty so changes to faculty so as for the faculty let's see why do I have an error there I guess the spelling is right okay and this as for the faculty change the faculty to school of computer science right now let's go for the next one so the next one is going to be dean of faculty maybe just grab this paste so change this one to dean the dean of faculty is who we can change that to maybe professor or whatever professor Dio Mary there oh let's go back in there double click on that and end this here and this as well there and the next one copy paste the next condition is going to be head of school change that one to H O right the head of school we can say professor whatever uh, let's say Gambino let's say James Gambino right why not that's the head of school okay now the next one 
and that is supposed to be the program leader program leader and a program leader you can just call that Dr. Peter Peter Stone almost done with that so who is left we have call we need course leader course leader and the building name okay here that will be course course tutor course tutor can be maybe doctor something doctor Kelvin Mail. Yeah, that's fine. And this one that is going to be building. So the building name you can just call that Kelly's house. Kelly's house. There. And that is the very first condition if you select BSC serious game so let's try that out now before we then populate the rest run okay decision time then we go look at that so that is working fine so exit out so I'm now going to copy all of these and just change it around for the others copy come right down here and I'm going to use else if else paste and just change it around so let's speed that up all right guys that is it all done let me show you guys the lines of codes there we go it's exactly the same lines of code so, so take it from the top here and bring it down change it to whatever you like and there we go those are my conditions of any selection made all right so let's come in here now we now need to take care of the last one which is the result button double click on that the result button i am going to first of all declare an array there let's say variable and let's assume my array is called score so score is an array and it's going to start from zero dot dot let's make it nine so that is how array is declared numerical array is declared in even um even string character array is the same so this is supposed to be integer so it's totally different from other programming language the way it's declared so this should be a square bracket that yeah, does it square brackets so that error is gone now I'm gonna start with the first one so as you all know that we have to start from zero so that one is equals my very first so that's going to be string convert from string to from string to integer and what am i converting that's going to be d b e score one dot text so that's the very first one so i'm going to copy this so db is score one that is this is it right there this very one okay that's the name right there back to the code there are eight of them so i'm going to copy and just paste it and change things around copy that and change we have two three four eight okay this is two three four five six seven and eight so those are my 
text box in there and this is going to be one two three four five six and seven now array number eight i'm going to use that to total everything so put array number eight in there so array number eight equals as follows column equals let's add up everything we have in here this plus so we just copy that all right so this is going to be one two three four five six and seven so I've just added I've just added up everything in this added up store inside score eight all right so now score number eight is going to now store the value right in here I want it in here and what is the name okay that is a uh, db edit total so back in the code db edit total dot text that will be equals we need to convert from int to string and what i will converting we are actually converting score eight there we go there that is that taken care of as well so if i run it now and let's say we want to enter new value click on the plus sign here and we enter data in here let's grab anything in here there and right here enter the following score there if i click on result i should be able to get the result right there but i don't want it to store into the system so i'm not going to refresh it yet okay good it's not there right now let's exit out that is working we now want to decide is this score is it for first class second class or third class fail or whatever and today's date so now let's come back right underneath here let's use an if statement if you can always put that maybe you guys can create a function for that let's just enter or you can just do it the way I want to do it if score 8 this one here copy paste that in here if score 8 is greater than and equals to 700 then begin by entering as follows D DB edit ranking dot text equals first class there enter an apostrophe here okay that's the fact very first condition taking care of the next one is going to be else so come right down here first of all let's get rid of that and just come right down here and use it else if i'm going to copy that yeah copy all of that else if if it is uh let's say 600 greater than and equals to 600 then this is going to be second class second dot i 
second class ochre. That's that done. Now let's take care of the next condition. The next condition is if it's uh, greater than equals to 500, that's going to be second. Okay, that's going to be 2 2 lower. Yeah. And if it's 400, Change that to four. In the case of four, that's going to be third class. Third class. And if it's three hundred, if it's three hundred, in the case of three hundred, that's a failure. So, but you end up with certificate of higher education. There. And anything lower, that is a fail. Come down here, paste. Less than 299. And that is going to be fail. Yeah. I think I am done with this program. Yeah. So... Take a good look at these lines of code, guys. Let's take it from where I added up everything. Array declared. Array added. Total of array stored in here. Using the score to find out your grading or your ranking. Okay, that is it. So come right down and there. Let's run the program. Run. There we go. That's the first one. So let's refresh and enter new data. So click on the plus sign. There we go. And enter new data here. So let's say that's the student ID, the name of the student, let's say is David or Dave. Dave Anderson. An address number 13. Kings. Kings Road. Yeah, I'm going to just speed up the data of Dave and the same just enter whatever in here and I'll get back to you guys once I speed that up let's say it's in 40 here and the rest is zero okay we speed that up and get back to you guys shortly that is it all done and that's it guys and now let's refresh and come right in here we should be able to see the details of Dave Anderson look at that okay details of Dave Anderson is added onto the system and the let's check out the database as well I'm going to open that up we'll click on the database and there we go that is the details of all oh, those are the details of Dave Anderson all right, so it's working as we expect. So with that, guys, I'm going to call it the end of this tutorial. I suppose you guys enjoy it. And please do subscribe to my channel. And you can also join to become a member of the channel. So with that, I'm going to say bye for now. You guys have a nice day.